Yeah, we got that in the business meeting. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, you know, one of the great things about our annual business meeting, while we're required to do it by Foursquare, um, and our denomination has in our bylaws that we have to have a congregational meeting. So what we need to do, and Jamie, you can circulate around. Those of you who are partners, um, Please sign in. Um, that is membership for those of you that aren't familiar with the way we do it here at Coastland. So we, I believe that we're members in the body of Christ and that we are partners with a church known as Coastland Community Church for a season. And so when you leave here or move away or whatever, your membership is one place and that is heaven. But uh, the partnership will move. So, uh, but if you are a member slash partner, sign on there. And I need someone who is a partner to officially open our business meeting. And we will have a motion, please. Dana, Judy seconds the motion. The, mo the, the motion is now, or the meeting is now in session. So one of the fun things about this is we get to celebrate where we've been. And look forward to where we're going. And praise God, we have finished the year, as we'll get to in a, in a minute, we have finished the year with progress, even in the middle of COVID. So it's uh, it's good. Thank the Lord for that. He is faithful. Um, many of us welcome the online people. If you would just, if you're on, uh, just... Type in that you're on, or we can look at the views so that we can add you to the official list that we have to keep. So, um, we titled this, Still Moving Forward. So, every person moving forward in Christ is, that's kind of our, our guiding um, mission of everybody is moving forward in Christ. You're growing, you're going somewhere, and we want to be a part of your spiritual journey. Uh, let me just go over a quick agenda for what we're going to cover in the next uh, 30, 45 minutes or so. We're going to, we've are already called the meeting to order. The next thing is we have a church council here, and we're going to affirm them. We're going to go over some financial. We're going to celebrate some things, and then we're going to have some vision for 2022. And the interesting thing is two years ago, 2020, we had a business meeting. And we had all of the things we were going to do in 2020. And then the brakes got slammed on and we had to completely rethink what we were going to do. But ministry has not stopped. In other words, discipleship has not stopped. How many of you would say you are further along in your personal growth than you were three years ago? Let me see, let me see your hands. Okay? God has done, I look around and I see those stories. So, as we look forward, uh, the next slide is, we are a small but important church. Now, let me tell you what has just happened, and that is that the two primary pastors that have been here for the last 20 years, Pastor Sherry and myself, we've been the staff pastors, we have a whole lot of uh, people that are credentialed pastors and doing a lot. We are now employees of Foursquare. So Sherry is the Go Teens coordinator for the National Go Teens and the Short Term Missions. Goes through her, and I am the associate supervisor for the Atlantic District, which is Maine to Florida to Ohio to Alabama. So, um, <laughs> Jamie. Were you clapping that I am not here? <laughs> but as a small but important church, I want you to think about, and I, if you go back over the years, the number of people that are now in ministry, from missions to pastoral to businesses mission, uh, God is using many, many people that have come through here. So 
So you're in a good place to be able to get launched. It's just the slingshot of God, okay? Ready? It's just a matter of time. Next, uh, next slide. So this is a, a time when we get to thank our church council. And the, where are you going, Dana? You're part of this. You're fixing the curtains. There she is, as a council person, okay? Because we've got people looking here. Um, so the way we function here, we do not have a board. But we have some people who are responsible for the finances. Because when you give, you want to make sure that your finances are being used for mission and not just squandered. So we, every month we have financial reporting and every dollar is accounted for. And we approve the minutes, approve the finances, and then we make decisions based upon the resources that God has given us. So currently we have um, our, our 2021 council and the council can serve uh, two two-year terms. Okay, so Scott Bonhoff, where's Scott? Scott's back here. In case you were wondering who your council, he's, he's a guy in the hat. Uh, Terry Deloy, she's sitting right here. Oh, there she is. Okay, Terry is our treasurer. Uh, and Antonio Jackson, behind the camera, behind the computer back there. Wait, there we go. All right, Antonio. Brian Dunnigan, right here, sleeping over here on the couch. <laughs> Larry Lawrence, where's Larry? There's Larry right here in the middle. Dana Lee, did you get back from doing the curtains? Dana Lee. Dana. Where'd she go? She was just up here doing the curtains. And then, uh, so that was our last year's council. And, uh, and then for this year, Sally Pointer is going on. Sally's right here. Thank you for being willing to serve. And Terry is going to be our, she is not going to be on a voting member of council, but will still serve as treasurer. And I want to thank uh, Jamie. Jamie is not able to be on council because she's on staff. But Jamie and Terry have worked diligently on a balanced budget for 2022. Could we thank the Lord for that? And Brian Dunnigan was not able to serve as a council member because Sherry was on staff. And for our for our Bible, any conflict of interest is not allowed to be, but since Sherry is no longer on staff, Brian can be our legal counsel and a voting member of staff. So, um, would I be able to get a first and a second to affirm these, as you see them, as our 2022 to 2023 council? Could I have a first? Okay, we got, uh, we got uh, Susan Burke, as a first, I saw Bruce's hand as a second. Any discussion? Any? Is there anything that I need to know that I don't know about any of these people? Uh, so. All over the question. All over the question. Do I have an affirmation of these people? If you would respond, if you're a partner, and you would respond with an, an aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. This will be our two, our 20. I like business meetings like this. Like, you know, like. Yeah. Okay, next one. All right, financials. Uh, we, we have held relatively steady this year. Last year, we took about a 30% hit in our ties. Uh, this year, we were down 1.3%, which is better than 30%. Yeah. So, um, and we have a budget, a monthly budget of about $16,000. And that is uh, everything that's our that's salaries, mortgage payments. By the way, January of 2025 is our, our target date. I would really like somebody to make a $4,000 donation so we could put up their 2020, December of 2024. It just sounds better, doesn't it? That's only that's only two and a half or three years away. So uh, this place will be completely paid for. And by the way, we we do not. And it was the day that I came. The, the that week, 
was when the church council voted to buy the building. I didn't have anything to do with it. I said to the council, look, unless you've heard from the voice of the Lord, we are running because this place is a dump. And uh, so for the last 20 years, we replaced just about everything, and now we're getting ready to replace it. Replace it again. We just got a new roof on the house over here. Praise God, it's been due for 20 years, and now we finally got it, but paid for it. We don't go in debt for anything. So, yes, thank you, Financial Peace University. Um, we have not had a payment. Matter of fact, when we, when we had a copier, we, we could not even buy a copier because we had no credit. It was like, it was like no, so we had to pay for it cash. Uh, but that's the way we roll. And uh, if you have not received your email with your 2021 contribution, please see Janie and she'll get it out to you. And then, um, again, I mentioned the budget. Hallelujah for people who are financially smart and can help us get to where we want to go. So, uh, would you just thank the Lord for his faithfulness? We never lack anything. And that, that's what I look at. You know, we had, a few years ago, we had $50,000 in the bank. Somebody had given a major donation. And we had $50,000 in the bank. And I remember the council saying, we are going to trust in the Lord and not in our bank account. And we invested that into ministry and mission. And we've been living hand to mouth ever since. But he's never, ever let us down. And he will never, ever let you down. All right, next slide. Uh, this is just reason for celebration right here. I look at, in my role, I look at many, many churches' um, reports. And I will tell you, I do not see a lot of salvations, baptisms, baptism in the Holy Spirit, and healings. They're just, they're just not there, unfortunately. And so, for a small but important church, if you were at church at the beach... It was so cool. We had people coming up, giving their life to the Lord, and saying, what are you guys doing? We're at Cameron Baptism. I want to give my life to the Lord as well. Pray right there on the spot and got baptized. So we had 12 people that are, are in heaven as a result of your investments. We had, uh, and, and not just people that just said, they, these are people that got baptized. And Holy Spirit baptism. let me tell you, if you are on the struggle with and you are just saying, God, I'm, I'm having a hard time making it right now. We are a place that believes in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And you can be filled with the Holy Spirit with His power and receive the healing that you need. So, this, again, let's just thank the Lord. We are not about keeping the lights on, all right? If we're just about keeping the lights on, let's close shop, take a resource, and do something else. We are about seeing people and their lives change. So, all right, next one. Um, reasons to celebrate. I said this before. Um, some of you are here today. You know, Zoe and your family, because I believe of the prayer walk that we took last year, and we saw God just drawing, drawing people that are their lives are being changed. Um, we did a, a, a leader, a leader cohort, leadership cohort online in uh, April, I think it was, and we had seven churches that participated via Zoom all over Pennsylvania, Virginia, uh, North Carolina, and we had lots of people growing in leadership. I already mentioned New Roof on the uh, Parsonage next door, the Dis uh, Discovery Bible EBS, Discovery Bible Study. Um, this, if you're not familiar with DBS, this is such a cool way to grow in helping people become disciples. And it's just reading the scripture. What does the scripture say? What does the scripture say to you now? And how do we change our life? Just three simple questions. And we're beginning to multiply these um, in places that aren't necessarily like church. Okay? Next one. Women's events, uh, the retreat, the luncheon. Uh, Anna, is that you with a little puppy in there? <laughs> oh, she's gone. Oh. Um, but we, uh, amazing, amazing times together. Next one. 
We had a vacation Bible school with uh, East Side. There are three uh, four square churches. We have our church, West Side over in the Western Branch, and then East Side, which is at the uh, trailer park up here. And we've done uh, Chris and the youth, and we've done a number of things partnering with them. Lionport, Kentucky, getting ready to go again um, in April. The 9th through the 13th, it's like 150 bucks, uh, depends on the price we ask, but we had a huge flood that went through at the children's home down there, and we, um, bless God that Johnny's still with us after the torch, uh, cutting the door of the bridge, and um, we just ministered, blessed, everything's back because of you guys. I think we had four or five churches um, doing that, and then we did... Serve the city, uh, which is, by the way, if you don't know the green shirt, we have a partnership with the city of Chesapeake and the police department in particular, meet with them once a month, and anything that comes in through neighborhood services that we can meet as a church, right now we have a $150,000 grant through Dominion Energy that is for weatherization. So we're doing HVAC, we're doing windows, we're doing doors, we're doing uh, anything, weather stripping, insulation, that has to do with that. And so if you have skills in those areas and would like to put them to work, I can have you on a job this week, okay? And um, just beautiful. Here's Church of the Beach. Our uh, baptisms, totally uh, amazing. Love it. Next one is uh, we got our Wisdom Factors podcast. I didn't know that somebody took a picture. Did you? But Jenny, was that you? Yeah. Uh, Twitter, if you and John Barber. John Barber, if you're online, um, I encourage you. Go on Wisdom Catchers, download it, listen to the to the latest one. And Terry and Vaughn up there, financial peace. If you would like to get your finances in order, we just got some great resources. And uh, guys, could you just could you stand up since you're here? Uh, so that everybody can see you, so you can know. Who, who, uh, they, these are these are people that love the Lord, love people, and love helping you get your finances in order. There's no embarrassment. They're not going to judge you. Seriously, seriously, I don't care how jacked up your finances are. There's some people whose finances were totally jacked up that now are testimonies. Can we do the next podcast? Okay, all right, we got it, we got on, okay, good. All right, next one. And uh, uh, that's the guy on the left that's speaking to you. We got Men's uh, Discipleship, um, Antonio, also council member, Buster Blanchard. Where's Buster? Oh, Buster's right there, yeah. Buster is uh, heads up our prayer shield team and has, he has a great team. He doesn't do it all by himself. But uh, we got Bruce. Assisting minister, and by the way, with me traveling a lot now, um, if if there is an issue, and I am not here, Pastor Bruce is now a retired fire marshal who is it's it's been the perfect timing for Jesus. You know, I preached about this morning because the Lord has a way for moving him from one place to the next, and so tag your kid. We appreciate how God works, don't we, Bruce? Yes. All right, good. And uh, Chris Alex, is that your is that your personal trainer picture? Or no. That, oh, okay. I, just, I just wondered. I thought, it was, I thought I missed the squats over the leg. You missed the squats over. Outreach. And um, we have, uh, if you've never been to Harbor North, over in about two miles from here, there's a neighborhood that we have adopted as a church. And we're still part of participating with the after-school program, community transformation. That's where we're doing a lot of our work with the grant is uh, in the weatherization projects and so forth. And Chris is also taking a mission trip to London this summer. So, and CAST, the Chesapeake Area Shelter Team for Homeless, that all is funneled through here, funneled through Chris. And we really appreciate your willingness to serve that way. Jamie? Oh, Jamie. Uh, let, me just, let me just say publicly, uh, I've said this to the council. I said we got to do whatever we can do to make sure that Jamie is very happy here. Okay? So, you know, anytime that you, you just feel like the prompting to 
Maybe just slip her a hundred dollar bill or something. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Or two. Two would be fine. Right. Um, James, do you uh, you know James in worship and uh, and Stephanie? Pray for Stephanie and Jason. They came back from their trip and uh, and now they have uh, COVID. So um, we. Uh, <laughs> She's on right now. Hi, Stephanie. We love you. We're, we're praying for you and for Jason and the girls and Sandy and Liberty and all that. But we appreciate what Stephanie does. She is just very rapidly becoming an indispensable part of our ministry team here as, in relation to discipleship. We appreciate you a lot. Jonathan and Annika, uh, um, Zylie's uh, parents over here. Uh, but they are they are youth directors and doing a great job. And just uh, if you ever think that, well, I don't want anyone to think that we are a siloed church. Like, oh well, we just we just have um, youth directors. They'll take care of it all. No, we are the village that helps take care of our children, and we are going to help you in any way we can, Stephanie, with, with uh, children's ministry, and pray for a full-time, uh, or a person that will focus on children's ministry. Stephanie has been doing an amazing job. It's not her sweet spot, and she's but she's faithful to serve, so pray for that person or people to do that. Jonathan and Annika, thanks for saying yes. Great to watch you guys grow. And new information. Everybody say hi to the Berry family. Or bye. Or bye to the Berry or bye to the Berry family. Um, let me, now let me tell you a story. It's not it's not this week, but um, when you guys first came, I don't I don't know if any of you heard this story, but I went to their church uh, in South Boston and Johnny was coming to be a student regent. And it was the week that they were being sent out there. And I happened to be there. One of the few times that I've been to that church. And I walked up afterwards and I said, um, Johnny, it's, uh, I, I wanted to introduce your new pastor. And uh, that was me. And I said, um, and, and he looked at me like, I don't know who you are. And there is not a, in no way in the world. Okay. That was the look on his face. And uh, uh, he's, I found out later he was like, first time we get to choose our church, okay? Because everything else has been chosen for them. So they were sitting, they were sitting in this room, and and uh, we were doing the, the new partners class. And I said, uh, you guys are going to plant a church. How many years ago was that? About eight. About eight years ago. I said, you guys are going to plant a church. And now here we are, and. We're in the launch phase. It could be within the next few months, but we are the sending church. The Foursquare Multiply. We we partnered with Westside Church and with South Boston, their church before this, to be able to send them forth financially as a team with prayer, with coaching, all of that. So if you'd like to be, when when the weather gets nicer, we'll probably be taking some trips up to La Plata, Maryland. And now I said, well, what's in the plate? They said, we don't know. We just know that's where God's called us. I go through it a few weeks ago, and I was praying for him as we were driving down through. I was like, Lord, the only reason I'm here is because there's a snowstorm over on 95. I guess you want me to be here to pray through the plate. So it's kind of like the famine idea. You know, God moves you where he needs you to. But we are super excited for you guys. And remember, small but important church, we get to do this. And so, if the Lord puts on your heart to support them financially, monthly, whatever that is, we're gonna we're gonna do it. The church council is investing uh, money, and we're investing prayer through the prayer team. We're invest as the things emerge. We're behind you guys, okay? All right. Hallelujah. Next one. Uh, where are we going? So, in January. I said a phrase that our president, Foursquare president, Randy Remington, has been, they've been kind of our, our uh, marching orders. More and growing leaders together on a mission. Did we say that together? More and growing leaders together on a mission. Let's say it again. More and growing leaders together on a mission. Now, 
now the second thing I want you to say is, that's me. That's me. <laughs> that wasn't exactly what I said. But here's the, here's the thing. When we are growing personally, if you can't if you can't lead yourself, you can't lead others. Really. You try to lead others, but you're just telling them what to do. You're not being led personally. You have to be, every person in this room needs to be a growing leader of yourself. Part of our discipleship, emotionally healthy relationships, emotionally healthy spirituality, our vertical relationship with the Lord, our horizontal relationship with each other. At the bare minimum, that is where we need to grow as a leader. If you get those two things down, you'll be in good shape. However, I believe that God is calling us as a church, just like investing in you guys. If you go to plan a church, many people that we've sent out. Uh, how many of you remember Adam, Adam and Courtney Barnes? Remember Adam and Courtney Barnes? Okay. So they used to be our military ministry ministers here. And uh, I just, they were on my heart. I reached out to them and I went on his Facebook page. And there was a 50-second clip of one of his sermons. And he said, at the beginning of this year, he said, And church, if there's one thing that I want you to hear, it's that we want to see uh, every person uncovered, developed, and released in your potential. <laughs> now, some of you that have been here for a while are, are laughing because... That has been something that for years and years we said, he said, and I called him and I said, I said, hey Adam, that's remarkably similar. He just chuckled and he says, yep, that's because you made me memorize it and it changed my life and ministry. And he pastors a, a larger Assemblies of God church up in uh, uh, Maryland. But I, I just want you to know, if we're going to do this, more growing leaders together on mission, that's you. That's me. Uh, thank you, those of you that stretched the last couple of weeks for Facebook Live and uh, for pastoring the online community during the uh, snowstorms that we had. You know, let's do it. Let's grow. So uh, our our four square momentum, our denomination. There's going to be some things that we're going to be able to jump onto simply because of my role and Sherry's role. And we're going to be able to, if, if you want to grow, we have a ladies retreat that's coming up. It's going to be in um, uh, Concord, North Carolina. Yeah. Cornelius. Um, Cornelius, yeah. And uh, that's going to be in April. So we're going to jump on that. There will be hundreds of women there from the Foursquare. Um, there's, there's just a lot that God is doing in this season. Get ready. Get ready to grow. You're going to be leading in the church, in schools, in your community. I wish Bryn was here, um, not to tell her story, but she's leading uh, Wild Life. It's a Young Life for the middle school. She teaches at uh, one of Chesapeake Middle Schools. And the stories that she has of kids whose lives are being transformed and the things that are happening are amazing. And you know, I just look at that. She's leading in her school, and the majority of you didn't even know that. But it's part of our thumbprint in our community. So tell us your stories. We want to hear it. God's doing big things. We want to, some of you won't be wanting it to be platform, but we can just say, God's at work. Because if he's not at work, we're going to pack it up and go do something else. All right, is that the last slide? Yep. We have two more? Oh, yeah, another one. All right. So, as we think about where God brought us in prayer in 2021, we've, we've begun the year with three weeks of prayer. I don't know what has changed in you, but I know what has changed in me. Let's look at this year through that lens. God, what do you want to do in me and through me as I grow as a leader? All right, next one. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So before we do pray, uh, 
You can hit the lights, cut the lights on there, Scott. What what questions do you have? That's a pretty that was a pretty uh, pretty fast meeting, huh? What what questions do you have based upon what we have? If any come in online, Antonio, um, shout them out. Wow. <laughs> a meeting where I've answered all the questions. Everybody's full. Everybody's full. Who are we and we cut the lights off so Brian can go to sleep. I'm going to ask this question if you don't have any questions about this. As the church, the people, where do you need inspiration? Do you need inspiration in your prayer life? Do you need inspiration in your Bible reading? Do you need inspiration in your finances? Do you, where do you need inspiration? Because we want to connect you to resources and people that are going to help you in your, in your spiritual journey. about information. Sometimes we read the scripture for in information. Sometimes we read the scripture for inspiration. And sometimes we read the scripture for transformation. And I think that there are times when we need all three, but there's times when we need to really be able to say, Lord, how do you want to work in me uh, you know, through the discipleship process? Okay, well, I guess, you know, this is, we're, we're, we're good? Okay, time to go watch football. Pro Bowl. Yeah, the Pro Bowl. Hey, by the way, by the way, next week, you do not want to be late, not for the Super Bowl, but we have a missionary from, he's head of Foursquare over all of Southeast Asia, that's all the Pacific Islands, that is Australia, New Zealand, that whole area. He's one of six global uh, heads of the, of the global church. And again, this is one of those pieces, simply because I'm part of the district team, he's vacationing in Williamsburg, and they called and said, hey, do you want Jerry to come and, and minister on Sunday morning? I'm like, do we want Jerry to come? Of course we want Jerry to come. So, invite your friends. He functions in, I mean, he's a powerful man of God. He's funny, good to listen to, but there's going to be healing prophecy. He's a powerful dude in the, in the presence of the Lord. So, be here early and uh, don't, don't show up at like, you know, 1045 and then be like, oh, why do you have to go to this service? No. Um, Sally. I have one question. Yeah. It's about Johnny down here. Thank you. Um, how she so, so some of you know who Donna and Jerry are. They served here as elders for years, and she is in. Uh, they moved to St. Louis to be with their daughter and son-in-law, who was tragically killed in a car accident uh, two weeks ago. Mm. I got a call from Jonathan, their son. She had a, uh, a debilitating stroke on. Tuesday and is basically waiting to be with Jesus. So I have not heard the uh, the funeral is probably going to be here in the next few days or weeks, depending on on when we get that call. But uh, and Jerry's not doing well either. So uh, it's just been a super super tough time for the family. So please. Those of you that know him particularly, keep him in, in prayer. Thank you. All right, we're going to close the uh, meeting in prayer, and then we'll get a uh, an adjournment, a first and second for adjournment. Would you just agree with me, and we'll start with, uh, with, with Donna and, and the young family. Lord, we thank you for your healing power, and we thank you, Lord, that you prepare a place for us, for every one of us. We will cross that threshold at some point. 
and we will be with you for eternity. And as, as this life intersects with the next life, I pray for peace for Donna. I pray for wholeness for the family, for Jerdon and for Jonathan and the family. I ask, Lord, that you would comfort them with the comfort that only you can give. And we ask for life to come out of death for for Jerdon as Rance uh, has died. I pray that you would do what we can in this situation. God, we thank you that you have saw, seen fit to bring, use us in bringing many people to you during this year. And we thank you, Lord, for the baptisms, the baptisms in the Holy Spirit, the people who have been set free, whose lives are being changed. We thank you, Lord, for the people who have been healed physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And we pray for even greater fruit in 2022, that we're still moving forward. We're still seeing transformation in people's lives. And may we never forget that it is by your grace that we are saved. It is by your grace that we do this. It's not by our works, but out of your grace, we do the work of the ministry. So may we equip the saints for the work of service. Maybe we, may we as individuals be willing to say yes, no matter what the question is, even when we don't know it, we say yes, because you're the one answering, asking the question. We just answer yes. We love you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. May I get a motion to a, a Vicky? A, man, that was fast. Ryan, seconds the motion. All those in favor? Meeting is adjourned. We love you guys. Thank you.